Hello everyone, welcome to part 2. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to discuss about the documents, the eligibility more in detail, the visa exempted countries and the visa non-exempted countries. So let's get started. First, I'm going to talk about the documents for the applicant. In this program, the applicant is the parent or grandparent. So what documents do they need? So first of all, the parents or grandparents need to provide a document that state that there is a parent child or grandparent child relation, grand grandparent grandchild relation between the uh, person who is coming to Canada and the person who is already living in Canada and inviting their parents or grandparents. A relation established karne ke liye, you can provide birth certificate, you can provide baptism certificate, you can provide uh, any certificate that shows that you are the parent and uh, the second person is the child or you are the grandparent and the second person is the grandchild. Okay. Second document, proof of medical exam that medical exam has been conducted for you and you are not inadmissible to Canada based on health grounds. Third is your ties to your country, how well you are connected to your country, your financial condition, financial stability in your home country, your uh, documents, your properties, the purpose of your visit in Canada, how long you're going to stay or are you coming with the dual intention or are you coming with the intention of uh, coming to Canada and not going back to your home country. Financial and economic social stability of your home country and what are the conditions in your home country. Uh, these are the factors that are also considered when uh, the officer, the visa officer is assessing your application and trying to make a decision on your application and then of course the insurance certificate which i have discussed in the part first that uh, you need the insurance certificate at least for one year codes are not acceptable so if you say that okay i have got the code from the insurance company but i'm going to get the insurance only when you approve my application so that's not gonna happen you have to get the insurance first based on uh, completely assuming that your visa application will get approved. Documents for the child who is inviting their parents or grandparents. So number one, that the child is providing handwritten invitation to either uh, his parents or grandparents. And then he is taking the full financial responsibility of their parents and grandparents until their stay in Canada and then uh, they are providing proof of income. Now in proof of income, what exactly can you provide? You can provide your notice of assessments or for the most recent tax year, if you haven't filed the tax, you can provide either T4 or T1. If you don't have the notice of assessment, you can provide your employment letter which states your salary, your date of hiring, your designation and everything your pay stubs, your bank statements. If you are on social benefits like EI, you provide statement of your EI. Okay, so these are the proof of income. Also, uh, the person who is inviting their parents or grandparents has to uh, provide list of family members who are staying with him right now in Canada, uh, excluding their parents or grandparents because that's how the minimum income criteria is meeting or not will be calculated based on how many uh, people uh, he is living with in his family right now. Okay, child must also prove that his income is meeting or exceeding the low income criteria, LICO, which I'm going to share in my short videos. But he has to prove or she has to prove that they are meeting or exceeding the low income uh, cutoff criteria. Now comes the processing of applications. So countries 
who which are not uh, visa exempted so people of those countries you have to apply for visa and visa offices abroad when they are processing your applications and it gets approved the application gets approved basically you will be issued the trv trv is temporary resident visa which can be up to five years or uh, based on validity of your passport so validity of your passport minus one day that's how that's uh, that's gonna be maximum length of your stay or five years whichever is earlier or sooner in case you have a valid passport which is more like the validity is beyond five years and for any reason if the visa officer is not approving your length of stay for up to five years or less than five years they have to put the reason why why they are approving you the less length of stay as compared to five years this is for uh, visa non-exempted countries the countries which need visa to come to canada the temporary resident visa for the national uh, who are from visa exempted countries you have to fill out the form imm 5257 but you're not required to pay the visa fee because your country is visa exempted uh, once the officer approves he finds that okay your application is eligible to get super visa he approves the super visa basically what what he is going to issue you you will get issued the letter of introduction let's talk about the biometrics so visa exempted countries you guys you don't have to get the biometrics done unless you are at border of canada or at the port of entry but for visa uh, compulsory nations so you guys you foreign nationals you have to get the biometrics done before or before submitting your application i should say not before port of entry before submitting your application your biometrics papers or documents have to be there uh, in your application so this is about visa exempted and visa non-exempted uh, nationals this is all about the detailed information of super visa if you like it please share save and subscribe my videos and keep watching keep learning from me from canada life thank you